now that I have a moment to reflect on what I need to do, and now that I have taken a look at the rubric and understand what I need to do, I go back to my draft and look at the conclusion because the conclusion in a way has this reflective moment where I share with the reader what is it that um, or why is my story important and what I learned from it. What I noticed in my conclusion, there are a couple of um, word choices that I have. For instance, the change was large enough that I sensed all the differences in my new surroundings. So when I was writing this sentence, I, was, I wasn't really paying attention to what I really meant. So I'm thinking about a different way to share the, this idea, but in a way that would help the reader connect to it in a moment of reflection. Now that I have paid attention to this moment of reflection, I want to go back to it and really change the way I'm communicating with the reader. And what I have already revised now is very uh, similar to some of the mentor texts that we read specifically with um, learning to read by Malcolm X. I took some of the moments that he has in his narrative as he reflects on the whole experience of learning to read. I used as I see it today and also I have often reflected upon this experience. Um, those are two of the phrases that have allowed me to reflect and revise my uh, conclusion to make sure that it's em uh, empowering and at the same time meaningful for me so that it is also meaningful to the reader. Now, with that in mind, I want you to think about any specific sections in your narrative where you could enhance those moments to make it more meaningful to you as the narrator and the writer, then that will also help the reader connect to that. Think about word choices, think about using some of the mentor texts that we used before, and also the way you are communicating with, with the reader. I hope this helps.